Hello, my name is Richard Bruce. I'm a substitute yard supervisor at Davis High, and this is another sort of part of my little series of uh, tutorials for uh, explaining my special techniques uh, for yard supervision. And wanted to go over a couple of them uh, today. Um, first of all, the matter of moving students off campus uh, near the end of the day. This is a particular favorite of mine. Uh, I usually go up to the students and I say to a group of students, are you suffering from ELE? They ask, what's that? Excessive love of education, being on campus when the administration doesn't want you here. Uh, we often go back and forth, you know, some of them say, oh, yes, yes, that's exactly us. You know, we were really suffering from that. Others, uh, oh, no, 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 that's not our problem, so on and so forth. But it doesn't matter, uh, you know, just a little humorous back and forth. And then I sort of move on and hope they take the hint. Um, then uh, the uh, second, uh, uh, another problem that we have to deal with uh, is students generally can't speak sit on most of the campus, you're either late in the day moving them off or uh, during most of the day you're moving them to the library or this uh, special covered area where they can sit outside. Um, so I have a little bit different uh, technique that I have uh, typically used. Uh, now this is a split technique, one technique for the boys, the other technique for the girls. Um, for the men, uh, I say, uh, uh, walk up to them and say, well, you know, we just can't have you, I'm sorry, we can't have you sitting here, especially you, you know, I mean, you know why. And they'll, what, why? Uh, well, look, you know, the girls are going to get out on their restroom breaks and, you know, they want to do the right thing. You know, they want to go to the restroom, get back, get their education, but they're only flesh and blood and your hair, and I mean, it's just not going to happen. Um, and so I try to suggest that they move over to the proper areas. Uh, with the girls, you uh, can't do this kind of uh, thing exactly. It would be a little bit improper to say they're so beautiful that the uh, uh, guys won't be able to pass them by. So I use the more generic, the safer thing. Well, you're just so popular. Everybody's going to want to talk to you. And as I say, sometimes you get back and forth um, uh, on these things. In general, um, after a little bit, uh, I just sort of move on and uh, uh, hope they... Uh, they themselves move on in the right uh, suggested areas. Um, as you see with uh, my job, uh, one of the sort of nice things about it is, you know, if 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 the plans don't completely work well, it's not exactly the the end of the world. <laughs> you know, um, I basically rarely uh, write uh, any students up um, uh, on this. I just sort of you know use a little humor to sort of remind them of what the uh, uh, rules are. Uh, and as I say, my job is basically to make sure they do their calculus homework at the right picnic table. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, once again, if, if they do the calculus homework at the wrong picnic table, it's not the end of the world. In general, this technique makes me popular with my bosses and reasonably popular with the students too. Uh, so it might be something that if you're in yard supervision, you might want to try these type of things. Bye.